so this is apple carplay on ios 14 which can run youtube whatsapp and many other third party apps using carbridge so this tutorial will be how to watch youtube videos on your car so as you can see on an ios 14 iphone 10 carbridge is working perfectly fine you can see my device is on ios 14.4.1 and is an iphone 10 and you can see a software update is being offered to me but I am not actually updating my phone because the lower the version of our iOS the more it's probable to jailbreak our iPhone and install tweaks such as CarBridge and all. So firstly to start off you should have uh, jailbroken your device and should have CDI installed on it. If you don't know how to jailbreak your device or if your device is not jailbroken yet, you can watch my video which I have uploaded very recently on YouTube. It will be showing in the i button or the link will be provided in the description. So my iPhone 10 here is jailbroken and Cydia is installed on it. So you can see this, uh, this is the interface of Cydia and it's on iOS 14.4.1. Uh, over here, but uh, uh, you'll see if I search for car bridge, nothing shows up. But there's no problem with it. We have to do some procedure so that the car bridge will be shown over here. So for that, you have to open Safari in your uh, iPhone. And after that, uh, you have to search for car bridge on Google. So here I'm searching. And after searching, we can see the first result, which is the official website of the car bridge makers. And over here, we can see the full version is available for iOS 14.3 download here. So I clicked the button. So here is the CarBridge app shown. Now you can see it's of $10 and it's a paid app. It's not free. So you have to uh, be uh, paying money to use this feature. And you can see the compatibility uh, OS versions and it's iOS 13 to iOS 14.5. So it will work perfectly on my iPhone with iOS 14.4.1. So now I click the buy button and it says to sign uh, in and I'll be using my Google ID to sign in. After I did that, it asked for a billing address and I am currently living in India. So I selected India over here. You will select whichever country you are in. So here I submitted. After that, it uh, asks for checkout. Now there are two options. One is PayPal and other is credit card. Now PayPal is very secure. So I am going with PayPal and I am now logging my PayPal account and it will be very quick very easily and here i log in and it tells me all the uh, price which is charged and uh, i proceed and you can see the payment has been made and it says congratulations your purchase is complete and as soon as it does uh, um, e email comes to me for the receipt of car bridge so let me just close this and uh, you can see it's paid now it says link device so i'll click on it and after that there is this cydia button i will click that so now what will it do is it will open cydia and link this purchase with my cydia so here i am installing the source and it says updating sources so now the car bridge is actually getting linked with my cydia so the repo of the car bridge is now successfully added so i'll click return and you can see it saying the repo is added successfully uh, so if I see there are many things which they provide in the repo So that's not uh, our cup of tea. So now what we'll do is we'll click the search icon on the bottom right and after that we'll search for car bridge earlier Nothing was showing up over here But now if we search car bridge, we are seeing car bridge over here So we'll click on this and after that we will click modify on the top right and click install so now we have already purchased it so that's why if we'll install it it will install easily but if you have not purchased it it will ask you to purchase it so i have clicked install and confirm and you can see the installation has started and some scripts are currently running on it and uh, uh, it says uh, uh, something on the bottom and uh, a progress bar is going on and you can see it's now completed and it asks for restart springboard so I'll click on it. It's just a, you can say, a small reboot type of thing. It uh, does complete in five seconds only. And here you can see the reboot is complete, soft reboot. And over here, if I go to settings, I will see the CarBridge app installed on my phone. So now, yes, the CarBridge app is successfully installed. If I'll open it, it will first ask for terms and conditions because it's the first time I'm opening it. So I'll accept it. And you can see uh, this is the interface of the CarBridge app. Over here, I am uh, turning on show portal app. I'll tell the meaning of it later on. So now this is the section of bridged applications. So the applications which we want to be shown on our car will select over here. 
so currently i'll select some of the uh, applications such as hotstar youtube and all uh, like uh, prime video netflix uh, something like that so i'll currently uh, will uh, speed up this video so that you don't get bored up here i selected some apps but now as soon as i click on netflix it says drm warning this is because you know you might know that uh, when we try to record our screen on netflix it doesn't record it uh, stays black so same is the case with that uh, this they are saying that uh, nothing will be showed on netflix because of the security that netflix provides so uh, this was all the setup which we had to do on the phone now let's jump over in into our car and uh, connect our phone so that we can now check out the next steps so i am now connecting the wire uh, to my car and the other end to the phone and here is the phone which we have worked on it earlier and uh, i have unlocked it and on the car it shows apple carplay and it's loading currently so the apple carplay has started on the car and uh, now if i scroll then i should uh, see these apps which i selected on my phone available on the car play on my uh, infotainment system of the car so here are the bridge apps which I selected. All these selected apps are currently shown on the infotainment screen of my car. So here you can see Gmail, YouTube, WhatsApp and all. So if I click the weather app, it opens. Now I uh, see that the UI is not very good because the weather app is meant to be used in portrait mode on the iPhone. The apps which are meant to be used both in portrait and both in landscape, uh, they uh, work pretty well because the compass app is also a portrait only app it doesn't work very well while the youtube can work both in portrait and landscape so it works very well you can see the youtube app is working just perfect and if i play one of my videos then you can get the idea that uh, videos are playing absolutely fine sorry for the noise background noise because uh, air conditioner was on during uh, i uh, when I made this video, I was not aware that it will interrupt the audio quality. I can even uh, uh, make the quality 1080p. And even if the phone screen is off, the video is still ongoing on the infotainment system of my car. So that's the beauty of it. Even if the phone screen is off, we can browse on YouTube. And if uh, I'll show some video of NCS to you, then uh, let me type the NCS. Now you can see the keyboard is not coming full. I don't know why this is, but it's not a big problem. We can manage it. Very small uh, bug, uh, which can be fixed with a software update. So here comes NCS and I'll play it. So there's no delay no audio video delay nothing the quality of the screen is coming like very good maybe because my screen over here is uh, good enough that hyundai gave a very good screen the frame rate is just awesome everything is good but you can see if i come into my car menu the uh, youtube video pauses so you cannot like uh, play uh, music on youtube and go into the menu and it's uh, like uh, normal i think if you have youtube premium then you may go i don't know about it you try and tell me in the comments if that happens so if i try any other song so i by mistakenly like this so let's uh, select the most popular song of them it's also working perfectly there is this some loading because you can see 4G has come and now it's wi uh, switched to Wi-Fi once again so it now works you can see over here Wi-Fi sign is coming my 4G is working a uh, little bit poor you know India, in India the 4G conditions are very bad over here So if I try Netflix, uh, the issue is same that net the video doesn't come, audio does come, but the video doesn't show. Same is the case with Prime Video, the video doesn't come, but uh, Hotstar is working fine. I have tried that. Uh, coming next, uh, we can try to actually use Gmail and Gmail is also working perfectly as it's a landscape based app. 
and uh, you can see it's just perfect we can write mails to whatever we want here i can view mails and all and uh, the normal mailing app the default mailing app of apple it's also pretty much working just fine and uh, now let's try to open up whatsapp and uh, to my surprise whatsapp is also working very good uh, i can scroll through chats and uh, see videos photos and even pdfs in it but uh, there's one problem which i'll just show you uh, here i am just uh, actually trying to send message to myself but when i type it it's getting typed but the blue send button is not getting clicked now this can be a reason because my infotainment screen maybe doesn't doesn't have the uh, touch point over there or has some problem i don't know what's happening uh, maybe this is a bug or something everything else is working just fine so now let's try to open safari i forgot to bridge safari so i'll first select safari from the bridge applications on my phone after i select it then only it will show on the uh, infotainment screen of my car so here you can see as soon as i uh, select the safari on the phone it shows over here and if i turn it off it goes off in real time so it's pretty much really fast so if i turn on safari you can see the web page we were using last in this video uh, is uh, opened here if i go to google it's working absolutely fine and if i open my own website then it loads just like it loads on a phone or a tablet and uh, no problem at all now uh, because the screen which i ha uh, have in my car is not multi touch so uh, zooming uh, gestures doesn't work so this is now the portal app which i was talking in the starting of the video which we have turned on so in this the screen of our mobile phone is uh, linked like an hdmi display links and is shown just what is shown on the phone so now if i open clash of clans in my phone it's getting mirrored to the screen of my car's infotainment system so it works pretty much well so now this can be helpful to the cars in which uh, uh, touch functionality is not there but uh, there is a problem in this like when we uh, turn off the screen of our phone uh, the screen of the infotainment system also gets off so it's not very good but if uh, your car doesn't have a touch screen then you have to bear with it because uh, if you don't have a touch screen then you cannot uh, actually use youtube and all using the joystick but if i bridge clash of clans directly from the app now it's not mirroring it's installed uh, on the uh, car's infotainment system then you can see the aspect ratio of the screen is much better and the game is much more smoother and is playable uh, well that was pretty much it all which i could have covered for this video it covers how to install i uh, car bridge in ios 14 and 13 supported devices uh, on ios 12 i have already made a video if you have a, are having a device uh, running on ios 12 you can see my video I uh, the link uh, to which will be in the description so that was all thanks for watching the video i hope it helped you don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel peace